Hey everyone, I'm Will Dillingham and I'm here at Inertial Labs testing facility and with me I have the IMU-P. We're going to do a little unboxing video today to show you what comes in the packaging when you first get the unit so that you know what to expect. Now unboxing your IMU-P, you'll notice five things inside the case. The first is an RS-232 to USB adapter, a USB flash drive which contains a parameter file for your unit, the documentation as well as the graphical user interface, a power adapter, a cable for communicating with the device as well as powering, and finally the Inertial Labs Inertial Measurement Unit itself. Now if this is your first time using an Inertial Labs device, the first thing that you're going to do is take the USB drive out of its packaging and connect it to your host computer. The next thing that you're going to want to do is take the RS-232 to COM slash power adapter and after unraveling the power cable, connect this end into a wall port and the alternate end into the power side. Next thing that you're going to do is take the RS-232 to USB converter out of its packaging and connect the RS-232 side to the COM cable for the unit and the alternate end into the USB port of your host computer. Finally, the last thing that you're going to do is take the Inertial Labs IMUP out of the electrostatic packaging and connect the micro D sub connector to the IMUP. Now switching gears, once you have finished connecting to the device, you're going to want to open up File Explorer and make your way to the root folder that contains the graphical user interface. Once you have opened the GUI, you're going to want to make your way to Test Options. Next to Serial Port, we're going to go ahead and click on the one that the host computer has assigned to your device. And next to Baud Rate, we're going to go ahead and click Auto. This will automatically detect the baud rate for the unit. I'm not going to worry about selecting any other settings during this video. The purpose of this video is to just get you started using the device. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Then make my way to IMU Visualization. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and click Start. And then you can see in real time on the left-hand side, we do plot values for the gyros. And if we right-click in this plot area, we can also plot simultaneously the values for the accelerometers. And on the right-hand side, we do see in real time these values being displayed as numerical values. Now once you have finished using the device, I'm going to go to the left hand side and click stop. And then once I have completed using the GUI, I can click on file and exit.